So I was out here at the cemetery. I hadn't even planned to do this video, but I came across a headstone of a couple I had buried years and years ago, and they were super, super special to me. Um, she had died first. I didn't know her, but through the course of caring for her, I got to know him and he loved her so, so much. Um, she was a tall woman, a little taller than him. And so he really liked working with me because I was like the same height she was and stuff. Um, and I just really came to like them a lot. She was cremated. Well, then he died. And I remember going to the house when he died. It was just heartbreaking walking up onto that scene because I had adored him so much and he was cremated as well. So the family did something that I had never done with a family before. And since they were both cremated, but they wanted them to be at the cemetery, but not buried. So they did, this is the headstone. I know we got a lot of shadowing effect going on here. Um, the headstone. So inside this headstone are two drilled cavities that you then pour the cremated remains in. So me and the family met over at the monument company together and we brought the sets of cremated remains. You can do one hole as well to put them together and commingle them. Um, and so we were there when they poured in the cremated remains and then sealed up the monument. Then they flip the monument over and come out and install it on the base. It's a pretty darn cool thing to get to do that. It's almost like a independent mausoleum -y thing for cremated remains. I know mausoleum -y thing is not a word, guys, but we can come up with some words. So super excited that I ran into this um, monument and different things that you can do that are traditional, but not traditional, can make them kind of your own, can still have a place to come to at the cemetery and can still follow your own path along the way. So just exposing you guys to some different things. Mm -hmm.